Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Sorry, I'm, I'm late. That's all right, no worries. How are you doing today, Juan? Mm, more or less. <laughs> more or less? How comes? Uh, yeah, I, I have... It, it was a positive day, I think. Oh, yeah. that's good. Yeah, recently we, we had a lot of work, but now it's, it's more like quiet. It's okay. That's good. That's good. I like that you focus on the positive. Exactly. And where are you from? Uh, I'm from Mexico. Oh, that's awesome. I've never spoken to anyone from Mexico, like on Cambly. Okay. This is okay. your first time. Yes, from talking to someone from Mexico, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Where are you from? I, I don't remember if I saw your video before. I, I checked yours and it didn't say Mexico, that's what I asked. But I we're actually neighbors because I am in Central America too, in Panama. Really? Mm -hmm. So you speak Spanish? Si. Okay. <laughs> and how is the accent in Panama? In Spanish or in English? No, in, in Spanish. Um, I'm not entirely sure, but I think it's similar to a Colombian accent. Okay. More or less. Also, but I think it's also influenced by the West Indie culture. And by West Indie, I mean like people from Jamaica, from the islands. You know, we have a lot of that influence here. While you think about the Mexican accent? I think it's fine. I don't... Okay. Let me put it this way. I know that a lot of people focus on accents, but I, I don't. I think it's a beautiful okay. thing that you learned a new language. And even if you try to polish it to the best of your ability, you're always going to have that accent. I think you should just embrace it. In Mexico, we have a, a lot of accents around of the Republic because it's not the same accent. Oh, I did not know that. Mm -hmm. It's like Colombian because, or the most popular maybe Colombian accent is the Paisa maybe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> For TV shows from Colombia, <laughs> mm -hmm. but that that's not the the most common in the country. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because yeah, how you say exagerar in, in in English? That you don't want to exaggerate. Exaggerate. Mm -hmm. In the TV show, is is very exaggerated. exaggerated. It's very exaggerated. Exaggerated, mm -hmm. yeah. It's, it's like Mexico, for example, in, in other parts of the world, the people think that we use hat all the time, or um, I don't know, or uh, people think we don't have maybe supermarkets. Or, <laughs> it depends the area of the world. Like yeah. Classismo. I agree. And to be honest with you, Juan, I think it has a lot to do with what you said, racism, but also being close minded. Because when you get out there and you travel and you experience different cultures, you realize that it's not necessarily how you were taught. At least um, I went to the United States in one occasion mm -hmm. and I was talking to a a kid, she could have been maybe 15, 16 years old, and she thought that there were no roads in Panama, no cars. She wondered how I traveled to the United States, like how I got there, like if I walked. And I was just like, you know, we have internet in Panama too. <laughs> yeah. So it has to do with people not knowing. And then if they have the opportunity to know, they're just very close-minded and they think that wherever they are, 
it's just the best place to be. So we have to be very open minded. Mm -hmm. So how how did you learn the, the language? In the, you raised in the U.S. No, I was born and raised here in Panama, okay. um, but my parents spoke English, and that was basically the language of the house. Okay. And they knew that all of us, you know, my siblings and I would learn Spanish in school with the neighbors and everybody else. So English was and still is the language of the house. When when you went to the school when you were uh, a child, mm -hmm. uh -huh. so what what language did you use in at school? Everything was Spanish with the exception of English class, that was done in English, but everything but else was done in how, how did you learn Spanish if your parents speak English? I mean, they spoke Spanish too. Okay. Um, and from time to time, they would say certain things in, in Spanish too, but yeah, I guess the fact that I went to Spanish school really helped. Okay, that's, that's very interesting. Different, when, for sure. Yeah, I, I'm married uh, two, two years ago, and we don't have children, not yet, but maybe, I don't know, one or, or two, two, two more years. Two more mm -hmm. years is the question, okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And one of my goals, or I think I want to, my children, they could to learn the language since since a child? Mm -hmm. oh. I think that's an excellent goal, Juan. Really, really excellent. But of course, you have to learn it and perfect it. Mm -hmm. And once you feel comfortable, then you can pass it on to your children. But that's that's one of the best gifts that you can give your children. And the, another language. It opens so many doors. Mm -hmm. The most problem in Mexico is you don't have people who speak English, actually. Mm. Yeah, for example, in my job, we speak just Spanish, and my neighbor, my neighbors, or and my parents, so all of them speak just Spanish, mm. and I speak English just with, with all of you, with with the two from from Cambly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but yeah, I think I am better than I started. Definitely, yeah, because I can understand you perfectly. And, you know, as as long as you keep practicing it, um, you should be fine, even if you don't have someone to practice it with in Mexico. And then once in the future, once you have children and you start talking to them, in English, then that would be like your little support system too, besides gambling. Yeah, I recently I have been having um, interviews in English. Mm. Huh. Yeah, I am happy because I can understand, I can give my feedback. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I, I I would like to improve my, my fluency, obviously. Mm -hmm. I'm working and that. Mm -hmm. so you are learning English to be able to work online? Yeah, work online. Yeah, I yeah. I have been working on from home maybe three and a half years ago. And I'm comfortable with, with that. How you say? With that way, uh, um, modality. Yeah, modalities. Ooh, big word. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, but yeah, I I would like to to get a job from from the U.S. but work from from home. That sounds like a good good plan. Yeah, after the the pandemic, this is one of the most common uh, modalities for work. Mm -hmm. That yeah. is very true. 
And then if, you know, it mm-hmm. allows you to, I mean, you're home and you're working, but you're with your family. You mm-hmm. know, you save on time and gas. So I, I think it's, yeah. I actually started working online before the pandemic and I absolutely loved it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. um, I'm using the old there, sorry. No worries. Yeah. Um, if I had to go to the office, I wouldn't be, be able to have this call, for example. Mm-hmm. Good point. Yeah. And I couldn't to play with my pets. I have three dogs and they they need my, my time as well. <laughs> Your time and attention. They're yeah. part of the family. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they, they are like my perrijos. Mm-hmm. How, How do you say they? that? How do you say that? It's, it's like uh, perrijos is una palabra solo compuesta entre perro e hijo. But in English, exists, exists a I word don't for think that. so. Let, okay. Let's see. Dog and child mix. At least I've never heard it. I don't think I don't think it exists in English. I can do research and then get back to you on that one, but I've never heard it. Okay. A dog and a kid. Mm-mm. My dog kid. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you can just make up your My, own word. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Doggy. He's uh, one and a half year. Rocky, he's five years old. Kiara, he's four months. Oh, yes. She's, she's a puppy. It sounds like they need a lot of love and attention. Mm-hmm, I know. Yeah, I, I need to buy a new sofa. sofa. Why? Uh, she, how you say, more there? She bit your sofa? Yeah, she bit my sofa. Oh, Kiara, that is. Kiara, Kiara. Wow. Well, in her defense, she's still a puppy, so she doesn't understand. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't. She doesn't understand. Yeah, but I understand her because we are... In, in, at home and she she needs to go outside because mm-hmm. she she wants to play and I bought a lot of uh, presents I gift mm-hmm. uh, yeah bows and how is it carnadas um bait bait yeah uh, but it's it's not the same. She she wants to go outside. She wants to go to the park, run. That makes sense. I mean, that's what they were created to do. Mm-hmm. To run and to have fun and play. So that makes sense. Yeah, but Ducky, for example, she, she he is very strong. Um, mm-hmm. I need to go with them with with three dogs and it's a, it's a little hard. Yeah, and I can only imagine if it's raining, the mess. The mess? <laughs> What's mean yeah. the mess? Um, because if it's raining and there's a lot of oh, sand okay. and I got that it. mix, and then you bring them inside the house and. You know, they are going to be messing the whole floor. So I can only imagine. Yeah. In Nuevo Leon, in, in this city, now we have problems with, with water because we, we don't have enough water. And talking about it, <laughs> talking about water, yeah, or about raining. Um, yeah, but maybe today it is going to be how you say it's going to be or it will be rain 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 it's going to rain it's going to or, rain uh-huh. or you can also say it will rain probably it will today rain. It will rain. yeah 
That's interesting. And why is it? Because like here in Panama, we also have issues with water mm -hmm. in certain areas. But at least where I live in Colón, we mm -hmm. don't. And in mm -hmm. Panama City, very little, really. Most people have water. Um, but I understand that in other countries, that's not the case. So can you, where you're living, go to your kitchen type, up, open the faucet and drink directly? Or do you have to? No, we, we need to, to buy water. Wow. For, for drink, for drink, just for drink. Because we, we have, obviously, we have uh, water for bathroom, for, for mm -hmm. this, how do you say? Washing dishes. Washing dishes. <laughs> yeah, for, for shower, yeah. But for drink, we need to buy. Mm. You can drink the, the water from the... How is it? A llave. Faucet. Faucet. Could you type for me, please? Sure. Thank you. Faucet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's not, it, I think it's, 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 it could be dangerous. Yeah, I can imagine. Mm -hmm. mm. Maybe in other country that that's very common, but not here. <laughs> mm -hmm. I I know that there's, um, for example, one of the provinces, una de las mm -hmm. provincias that we have here in Panama is called Bocas del Toro, and mm -hmm. it has an island on the side. Mm -hmm. So when you go to the island, you cannot really drink water from the faucet you actually have to buy also but here mm -hmm. i can just go to my kitchen and you know serve a wow. glass from the faucet and and drink it like we don't need to buy at least for now maybe in the future things will change I don't know. okay do you have forest yeah you mean forest yeah like yeah uh, bosques or yeah if it was clear, I would show you around, but it's dark, so you're not going to be able to see it. Um, but there are a lot of trees, a lot of um, animals and plants. It's really beautiful. Yeah, that, that's one of my dreams. <laughs> Live in a big place with plants, plants, and my dogs running, my children. Ah. Um, my piscine water pool is it, is that another name what water, water pool or piscine what is the difference water pool or what piscine or piscine oh you mean a pool yeah a pool una piscina mm -hmm. yeah a pool you can say pool you don't have to say water pool okay pool is in fine <laughs> Pool, mm -hmm. um, or swimming trees, pool. swimming pool. Okay, yeah, yeah, a lot of trees and animals. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now I we are living in a city and we, we bought a, a house, but we don't have enough space. Mm. Hmm. Gotcha. Yeah, you know, it's, it's very expensive. Oh, on top of that. So you're saying you don't have enough space inside the house or outside the house or both? Outside the house. Outside. Because this is my workplace. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the desktop from my wife and my desk is over there. Um, yeah, my kitchen, my living room. We have... Um, my or, or how do you say my, my bedroom? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, upstairs. Um, yeah, we, we have enough space inside the house, but outside we we need more space. Yeah, that makes sense. Now that's becoming very very common that houses are, I think, overpriced, 
They are very, very expensive and they're pretty, but you don't really have a lot of greenery or a lot of space that you can build something else or that you can have your patio, you know? Mm -hmm. I know that there are people, I mean, I'm one of those people that likes to be able to go outside and play and run around and play catch football or you name it. Mm -hmm. And with the different houses that they're making nowadays, you can't really, you can hardly have a barbecue. <laughs> I I was thinking about the uh, expense my house and mm -hmm. um, you know what what is a roof garden but in in the in the last part of my house mm -hmm. in the how you say el tech the roof the roof yeah the roof garden <laughs> the roof you want you want a roof garden yeah I want a roof garden that's a good idea yeah and that's very popular now so yeah it's very popular yeah because mm -hmm. um the, down how is it abajo down downstairs downstairs we don't have no space but in the roof we we can um, assign or how you say assign that mm -hmm. assign. assign assign a space for for that Hmm. For barbecue, for games, I don't know. <laughs> we don't have a lot of friends here, actually. Really? How comes? Uh, you know, you, you're living in a big city and it's not the same, like small, small town. Uh, we are living here for, uh, we have been living here for, for nine years, but I have the, the the same friends since I arrived here. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. You kept those friendships. But what about your your neighbors? Do you have other houses next to yours? Yeah, um, my neighbor from left. Mm -hmm. He is my my friend, but I don't know all of or how you say todos los demás all of. All of okay. the others. All of the others. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know what is their names. Nothing actually. Gotcha. And how did you meet your neighbor on the left, the one that is your friend? Can you repeat the question? How did you meet your neighbor on the left, the one that is your friend? Uh we are we were, um, we were outside, and he 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 was outside, and how you say, solo hablamos, just talk, just each spoke, other, just mm -hmm. spoke each other, uh -huh. and and that was it. It happens. It's happening. <laughs> it's happening. Well, it's happening means that it's happening right now. It's present. It's happening. Or how you say. It? If it's past, it okay. say it happened. It happened. Mm -hmm. Happened. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, that was interesting. Just some bro magic instant click. Yeah, he he's very friendly. That's good. That definitely makes things easier when you're trying to look for friends. Mm hmm. And we have. We had a small store here at home. Uh, you... Like we we uh, we sell. In... Ah, you mean like and a patio like, sale? Yeah, like uh, venta. Venta, but the, the name is snacks. You know, it's snacks. Ah, snacks. What type of snacks? <sighs> I don't know if if is the correct word, but uh, como papitas, uh, cacahuates, something like so, that. So you mean chips? Chips, as well. Yeah. Okay. And when you say papitas, do you mean French fries? No. The, like, the potato chips. Yeah, chips. Okay. 
And what are cahuates? Do you know what is cahuates? I don't see. I said it wrong. It's cacahuates. <laughs> Never heard of it. Oh, they're peanuts. Peanuts. Oh, interesting. <laughs> here, here we say. Here we call them money. Yeah, I see. Money. <laughs> I guess some people, people would they know. are allergic. Yeah. Uh, how you say it's allergic or money? Some people are allergic to to money. Peanuts. To peanuts. peanuts. Mm -hmm. Okay, peanuts. Unfortunately, yeah. it's not my case. Unfortunately. What is the what is the exactly word? Unfortunately or unfortunately? So what are you trying to say? Afortunadamente. Uh -huh. Okay, so if it's afortunadamente, it's fortunately. Fortunately. You're not one okay. of them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Fortunately. Mm -hmm. Well, um, fortunately, I am not allergic to peanuts either. I just don't like them. Why? I don't know. It's not the texture. It's just, it tastes weird to me. I don't, I'm not one of my favorite things, but I do eat them from time to time because I know that they have good oils for you and they're healthy. Okay. I got it. Yeah. I, I buy different presentation of peanuts actually. <laughs> ah. You mean like with raisins, uh, with lime and pepper, sweet, sour? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I don't eat every day. Because it's, it's not good, like, like you said, it's not healthy. True, true. You know, I went to a friend's house recently and she gave me peanuts just to, okay. you know, entertain me in the meantime. She knows that I don't like peanuts. Okay. <laughs> but she offered me, I think it's something very common in Mexico, actually. Mm -hmm. It's this seasoning that is made out of, I guess, cayenne pepper, lime, and some other chile. Mm -hmm. And, you know, like I, I put it on top of the peanuts. Okay. And it was delicious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I exactly. absolutely loved it. But I think the, the lime, the powder lime and the cayenne pepper really made the difference. Mm -hmm. Yeah. El sabor es diferente. The flavor. Yeah, different flavor. Different flavor. Exactly. Okay. Question. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's your favorite meal of the day? Of today or in general? Yeah, of the day, in general. Um, Potato soup. Potato soup. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had reason? it? Uh, no, actually no. <laughs> so it's very creamy and okay. it takes a lot of milk and cheese and bacon and I'm all over that. Wow. It's, I recommend it. Okay, okay. Thank you. It's it's common in, pa in Panama? Is it common? No. Okay. No. That's why I try to make it for my friends so that they know what it tastes like. But no, you would never find that here. Okay. <laughs> and do you prefer cats or dogs? Dogs. Okay. It's the same with me. Um, I can tell you have three. Yeah, I know. No, I, I like cats, but my wife, she, she doesn't like it, so I can't. Is she allergic? No, but she, she, she doesn't like yeah. yeah, question, uh, or I, I, I would like to say something. Sure. Yeah, um, usually I share this kind of, of videos on my social media for uh, to invite people to use Cambly. But Cambly says that I need your consent. And mm -hmm. I, I need to ask if you, you are agree. Sure, go right ahead. Hi to all the viewers. Okay, thank you, thank you so much. 
You're welcome. Uh, it's a pleasure. Mm -hmm. I will see you soon. I look forward to that. Okay. Thank you. All right. Take care. Bye.